So this is a quick video on how to format your Microsoft Word document for APA uh, standards. So that's the American Psychological Association. So this can be used for essays, for lab reports, uh, and also if you are submitting your work for publication. The first thing you need to do is to set your margins to an appropriate value. We do this by going to Page Layout, click on Margins, and then select uh, Normal. So this means that all of the margins, the top left, uh, bottom and right will be one inch which is the appropriate value. Okay so once we've done that we also want to change our font so in this font ribbon if you click on this uh, lower options tab we have a box pop up select Times New Roman this is the best one to use font style regular size 12 and then if you click on default this will just make uh, these settings your default value for Microsoft Word. Okay, so once we have all this, what we'd like to do now is to set up a running header. So if we click on Insert, Header, and we want to select this first one, which is blank. Once we do, do this, uh, this option box pops up, and we'd like to click on Different First Page. Make sure this box is selected. What this means is that the, the header for the first page will be different for the, uh, for the remaining document, and we'll see why in a second. Okay, so in this running header box, you type in running head and then colon. And in here, what we need to do is just a shortened version of your title. So this could be um, just your student number, for example, if you're doing anonymous submission. Then what we need to do is put in a page number. So if you just hit the tab key, we'll see that our cursor is now by the uh, the right hand margin then we select page number move down to current position and this first option plain number what it's going to do is just put the page number in so once we've done this we're ready to put the title of our uh, paper in so just double click on the main document and then hit return until you're about a third of the way down uh, the document we want to center it and then what we need to do is click on uh, paragraph um, just with this line spacing icon here. We want to select it double spacing so everything needs to be double spaced and if we select it again click on the uh, option for remove space after paragraph. Okay. Now what we do is we put in the title of your paper hit return Underneath it, you put your name, and then underneath it, you put your school. So, for example, this could be as such. Okay, so this is all you need to do for your uh, your front page. If you're doing anonymous marking, obviously, uh, make sure your name is just your student number. So, the next thing we need to do is to now move on to our abstract. So, if you go to Insert Page Break. We now go on to our next page. But you'll see that we uh, don't have a header, and that's because we had a different first page. So what we do for our header here is you just double click it, and then type in what you had uh, here. So we just put short and title, or just what your short and title actually was. Press the tab key uh, again, so that your cursor goes to the right of the screen. And again, we need to put in the page number, current position, plain number. And now what this does is it puts the uh, page number consecutively for the rest of your, your document. Double click off the uh, header. If it's not already, center align your, your cursor. And this is where our abstract is going to go. So you actually use the word abstract at the top. Then hit return and left align and now this is where we're going to start writing the abstract. So this is where the abstract actually goes. Obviously it would be a little bit longer than this. The important thing to note is that there's no indent for the abstract so you start left aligned. Uh, so the abstract is just a block of text that summarizes your paper. Once you've written your abstract with your cursor at the end of the text, again go to insert page break and this is where um, the main body of the text will actually be. So the first thing to do before you actually start uh, start writing 
is center align again and here you reproduce the title of your paper, the full title of your paper. So we find this obviously on the uh, the front page of your document. What you also do is you put in capitals the first letter of all major words, just like so. Once you've done this, if you hit return again, left align, indent, and now we're ready to start writing. So you start writing your text um, by indenting the first line of your paragraph, and this is where you start writing the main body of your text. It's very important that if you uh, do new paragraphs, or sorry, when you do new paragraphs, that you indent the first line of every paragraph thereafter. It's also important that you don't justify the text. Uh, so left a line and let the WordPress decide how much text to fit onto each line. So for example, this is left a line because we have our text key here. And you'll see that we have a jagged edge. And this is because the, the word processor has decided that the word introduction here, for example, can't fit on here, so it moves it to a new line. Some people do uh, this fully justified button at the top here, which gives a straight line on both sides. And although I agree it does look better, this is not APA format. Um, so make sure it's it's left aligned as such. And remember, when you start new paragraphs, indent the first line of every paragraph. So this is where it's formatted for your introduction. But then in uh, lab papers and experimental reports, you'll then move on to reporting your results, for example. So the way we do this is um, when you come to the end of your introduction, start a new line, center a line, bold, and type in the word method. Um, now this bold characteristic of the text is, um, let me just zoom in, is new to APA 6. This was not the case for APA 5, the fifth edition of the manual. So in most universities you'd be able to use both and uh, that should be fine, but uh, correct is this newer version APA 6, so bold. So there's no new page for a method, it starts on just after the introduction. Once you've done this, hit return, left align, and now you'll put in the subheadings for your method. So typically we have participants, for example, so this is left aligned and also in bold. So once you have this in, take the bold off, hit return and indent, and uh, start discussing your participants. So you do this for all the other headings as well, such as design, uh, procedure, stimuli, and apparatus. Once you've done all of this, um, let me just put these, so then you need to go on to, to uh, present your results. So hit return, and then center align again, bold, and type in results. Um, return, left align, indent, take the bold off, this is where you present your results. So there's no new page for the results section either um, and also after you've finished your results you want the discussion there is no new page for a discussion or for the general discussion rather. So central lines bold just like so. For multiple experiment papers after every results you'd also have a discussion which would just be the word discussion formatted as it is here but just on its own so it wouldn't be general discussions. So the general discussion is just the, uh, the, the the very final discussion right at the end of your paper. So once you have finished your um, your general discussion you now need to uh, include your references. So after the very last line of your general discussion uh, you go to insert page break to select a new page uh, so the references do go on a new page. Click on the home, center line, and just pipe, write the word references. And this is where your references are going to be. So there's various ways that uh, the formatting of references must follow, and it all depends on what it is that you're actually referencing. But very typically you'll be referencing a journal article, in which case uh, the format would be uh, you put their surname, comma, followed by their initials, um, and then if it's just two authors, for example, you put the ampersand symbol and then the surname of the second author, comma, followed by their initials, 
open brackets, put the date of the uh, the paper. Um, after this, you put the title of the paper itself. So no italics for this, just in normal uppercase. Uh, sorry, normal text with a capital letter for the first uh, word of the the title, but no capital letters for anything else unless it's a name of something. Then for the title of the journal uh, is in italics, followed by a comma, followed by the volume number. So you don't need to write VOL or volume equals or anything, just the actual number of the volume, comma, followed by the page range. So you'll see beneath, this is still um, how to reference a journal article, but sometimes the title of the paper is very long and it needs to go on to a new line. So a couple of things to bear in mind is that when you come to the end, you'll need to indent the next line. Um, also make sure uh, Microsoft Word will try and capitalize this first indent because it thinks it's a new paragraph but obviously it's not so make sure that's not capitalized but you do everything else exactly um, exactly the same beg your pardon just correct this so there's many more um, referencing um, styles depending on what you're doing, for example a book, a chapter in a book, uh, a magazine, uh, an online reference etc. And I'll perhaps do a separate video for how to format each of these separately. But this is basically how you do the uh, the APA structured um, document in Microsoft Word. I hope it helps. Uh, if you have any questions or requests for vid uh, videos do drop me an email. Thanks.